Welcome back to this beautiful Canada Day evening. And here we are with this beautiful bicycle kick by Dane Roberts from SC Toronto. Your halftime score here at Lamport, SC Toronto 2, Bradford Galaxy 1. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go down to the pitch to get the live action. Now, this should be interesting to see what type of adjustments both teams have made. There's a shot there of the Brantford Galaxy. We see number four, Zachary Tate, the strong defender. There's the goalkeeper, number one, Vladimir Markotic. This is going to be a very, the first five minutes, first ten minutes, very, very. And here is goal scorer Sasa Vidovic stretching and getting ready, which should be an eventful second half. Yeah, Sasha Vidovic with that outstanding goal there set up by Ranko Golianen for the Brantford Galaxy. Here we go. SC Toronto with the possession. The sun has set here at Lamport Stadium here in the west end of Toronto. We see the defense of, of Toronto. We see a substitution. Number 22 is now in the game. Dominic Roberts for Toronto. Playing on the defense. Andrea Lombardo just unable to, to get the ball down to a streaking forward, Jarek Whiteman for Toronto. The Galaxy here, number four, Zachary Tate here on the right flank. Fires one in to the goalkeeper, Sorti Barlocostas for SC Toronto. Good try there on the cross by Zach Tate, but he needed, needed to leave it a little bit away from the goalkeeper and more closer to the six-yard box. Yeah, exactly. I think Zach Tate could have made a little bit more with that with that offense. He had a couple of players that he might have been able to get on the cross if he was to look inside to that midfield. Nonetheless, Brantford back on the offense, trying to work the ball up through that midfield. Farid Drozovic. Getting the ball up to Nanad Bogovic. Bogovic looking to get behind the, behind the defense. A streaking Ranko Golianin. Unable to connect with his teammate. And early in the second half we see Bradford Galaxy. It looks like they haven't been discouraged by the 2-1 stat sheet. And they're being way more offensive than I would have predicted. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. The Galaxy are really, I mean, they're really aggressive early on in the second half. Looking for that equalizer. And again, right back, Toronto's back on offense. We see Dane Roberts with some very nifty, very skilled footwork slicing through that defense of Brantford. Toronto very content to work that right flank. Kicks it over through the midfield to Gerard Latalou, who gets it up to the left flank here. We have now 22. Dominic Roberts looking for the cross. A big header. And we see a goal. SC Toronto, number eight, Carlos Noriega. Great run, great run there by Dominic Roberts on that left flank and great cross to get it in. All all Carlos Noguera had to do was to just easy header and to place it. Let's take a look at this. Dominic Roberts looking for the big cross off the head of a waiting Noguera for the big goal. And all goalkeeper Vladimir Markovic, all he could have done was just stand there because there's no way, no chance that he could have gotten to that ball. Great ball by Carlos Nagera. And now it's 3 1 for SC Toronto in the second half. Yeah, Nagera, unbelievable. Right, I mean, 
picture perfect pass coming from the left flank to the inside off the head of Nagara, scoring the big goal early in the second half. Just as we were talking about how impressive Brantford looked on the offensive end, SC Toronto just comes flying back and scores a goal, putting them up three to one. And SC Toronto, one of the most offensive teams in this league so far, they've scored 11 goals in the last four matches. Yeah, very, very, very impressive offensive ability. Scoring four goals last week, three goals already tonight. And it looks like they may not be finished. No. No, I agree. Very lethal on the offensive end. And that is a real... Uh, oh man, I'll tell you, Brantford Galaxy, uh, that is a, a very tough goal to, to bounce back from. Putting them really in a difficult position down two goals here. And midfielder Dominique Roberts for FC Toronto, he usually starts for this team, so it's very unusual to see him coming off the bench so late in this game. But it seems like he did exactly what Carmen Zaka wanted from him, straight off the bench with the assist that has FC Toronto up 3-1 in this game. Yeah, absolutely. And I think maybe that's why we saw such cool and calm demeanor coming from head coach Carmen Izako because he knew he had this talent this uh, ability coming off the bench here in the second half because it paid off immediately. That halftime adjustment, that halftime substitution paid off immediately for Toronto. Here Brantford's on the, on the offense here, looking inside. Mitrovic, Davidovic. Well done, defended, well defensive play. And but there's Sasa a little bit trying to get it at on the face of the goal, but luckily the defender got it away. And that will be a corner kick for Bradford. Yeah, we see a little, a, a very strong one two, a little one two combination number nine, Dalibor Mitrovic, and number seven, Sasha Vidovic for the Galaxy. There's a great shot of head coach Carmen Izako of SC Toronto. The corner kick for Brantford. Nenad Begovic looking to set up the cross. And Ranko Golian in there for Bradford Galaxy pleading for a corner there on that missed header. Ref says no. It's going to be goal kick. SC Toronto. Here's a booming kick from Sorti Barlow Costas of Toronto getting the ball into the midfield. We're going to see an offside call here, I believe. The Galaxy retains possession. The referee has now decided it's going to be... Brantford has, has possession. Streaking down the middle. Trying to get through that staunch midfield of Toronto is Farid... Idrozvic. Here's an opportunity here for Toronto again. The center, the cross, number eight. Carlos Naguera again for Toronto with another scoring chance. Great cross, but Carlos Naguera just couldn't get the right footing on it, and it'll be a goal kick for Bradford. Just lethal. Let's take a look at this. Streaking down the right, a nice inside pass to Nagara. Just unable to find that left corner. Very, very close. And here we have another offside for SC Toronto. Looks like it's Andrea Lombardo being a little bit too offensive minded there. Andreo Lombardo just blasting a shot in 
on Vladimir Markotic, and you see him immediately going up to the referee and apologizing because he knows, you know, he, this is a game. He's, he's not at practice. Maybe he got away with one there, blasting a shot in on Markotic. Galaxy here moving the ball up through the midfield. SC Toronto taking over possession. Bit of a ping pong action back to Brantford. Looking on this right flank here, we see Zachary Tate looking for the cross. Excellent play from the goalkeeper, Sorti Varlo Costas, coming up and making the save. Yeah, great job by Valor Costas to come out on that cross and to make sure that he kept it because if he missed it, there were three Bradford Galaxy players waiting to just get ahead on that ball. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very, very strong, strong play there for Varlo Costas. Bramford again back to Makotic, looking to clear the ball. Instead, he just gets it up. Now, that could be a bit of his injury. A bit of his injury. You saw that he kind of second-guessed himself. He was looking to really boot the ball to clear it out of the zone, but then uh, second-guessing himself, just getting it up to the defense. And the, Brad and the Bradford bench is very scarce, as you guys could see over there at home. Only one sub, so goalkeeper Mark Hotix needs to stay in as much as he can here in this game and be strong. Number seven, Sasha Vidovich. Unable to keep the ball in play. SC Toronto is now taking over, moving the ball up into the midfield. We see Richard Asante passing the ball over to Branko Mastrovic. This Toronto team doing just a, a wonderful job with possession, creating space, finding room, and retaining possession. Nenad Bogovic with the challenge for Brantford. And here we have a substitution for SC Toronto, and it looks like it's going to be Ford Andrea Lombardo coming out. Lombardo is now going to be watching the game from the bench. And in to replace him, we have number 10, Adrian Penna. Now, this is a very strategic move. Head coach Carmen Izacco is always looking to improve and, and focus on the depth of his talent. And this is what we're seeing right now being up 3-1. There's a bit of confidence there, a two-goal uh, advantage, a bit of a cushion, making a, an early substitution here for SC Toronto. And great footwork there by Carlos Nagara, but just couldn't get a hold of it. And Bradford Galaxy now in the attack. Well defended by Toronto. Dominic Roberts. There's a good shot of, of Carlos Nagara. Head coach Carmen Izaco for SC Toronto. Good play here by the Galaxy. Zachary Tate looking to make something happen, getting it inside to Mitrovic, who gets a nice shot on goal for the Galaxy. And that is why they brought him along, number nine, Dalibor Mitrovic. He is a striker. Played in Russia, played in Romania, played in Belgium, and now he's here playing in, in Brantford, Ontario. He pretty much played everywhere. Now, I'll tell you one thing you got to say about Brantford is they've got these European connections. They will go out and scout European players and South American players. They've got that new player from Chile. They've got uh, Mitrovic from uh, played in, in most recently played in Belgium. So they do have these connections that they're hoping is going to pay off as the season progresses. 
And the main reason why they're going after these European players is because they need goal scoring. And here we have a substitution, number seven, Sasa Vidovich, the goal scorer for Bradford, coming out and Austin White coming in to replace him. So again, now this is this is a lot about respect. But we see two two tremendous coaches with the ultimate respect for one another. So we see that Toronto has made some early substitutions. So now as a as a counter to that, we see the Galaxy doing the same. It's very surprise, surprising that Bradford Galaxy would take out Sasa in this game, it's 3-1. They're clearly, they're clearly being down right now. And Sasa is the only one who's been giving them some offensive punch. So very confusing strategy that Badford's doing right now. Yeah, I, I agree. Why would you take out your, 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 number, one, your number one goal scorer along with Goliana, Branko Goliana, as we just see right there, getting an opportunity. But we do see a bit of a change up here on the Brantford roster. Zachary Tate is now playing forward, whereas he was a defender in the first half. Ranko Golianen was a forward in the first half. Now we see him playing on the defense. So we do see a bit of a change up here, which tells me that Brantford doesn't want to see this game really get out of hand. They know how strong offensively Toronto is so putting some of their stronger players on defense to try to limit this this offensive attack and, Brantford, there, and there we have Bradford with the opportunity cut it back but nobody was there for Bradford it, see, it seems that they're not being as offensive they need to be playing a little bit too defensive minded because as they are down three to one but they need to make some opportunities if they want to compete at all in this game yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've got to really... Here's an opportunity here for SC Toronto. Streaking down the right flank, we see a waiting number 14, Jarek Whiteman there for SC Toronto, right in the middle of the field, right in the face of goaltender Vladimir Marfotic. What a play, streaking down the right flank, crossing to the middle of the field, a Jarek Whiteman. Unable to capitalize on the pitcher, perfect pass coming from his teammates. Great cross there by Adrian Penna. Jarek Whiteman had the opportunity to put the nail in the coffin for Bradford, but just couldn't capitalize on it. That would have been Whiteman's second goal of the game. That third goal appears to have really taken the wind out of the sails of Brantford Galaxy, really playing with a different level of, of intensity after that third goal. Brantford looking for Ranko Golianen. Trying to get behind the defense of Toronto. Brennan McNichol passing it off to Richard Asante, who gets it up the left flank. To Jarek Whiteman. Excellent play. Great defensive play by Zachary Tate for the Galaxy. Back to Whiteman. Jared Whiteman has another opportunity, another chance. Unable to keep the ball in play for Toronto. And here we have another substitution for SC Toronto. And it looks like it's going to be number 14, Jarek Whiteman, the goal scorer for SC Toronto, coming out. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, we can't say enough about this player. We, we spoke of Whiteman at the, uh, before the kickoff. He's on the Canadian Olympic team. I mean, this guy can flat out score. Tremendous player. And they're basically saying, listen, your job is done tonight. Take a bit of a break. They're worried about fatigue. They're worried about possibly getting injured. And they also want to work on the depth 
of some of the other players. And it will be number 16, Daniel Tanuis, who's coming in for Whiteman to get some PT here tonight. Here we see Zachary Tate for Brantford, looking to move the ball up through the midfield. Nanad Begovic, weaving in and out of that midfield. Toronto doing a great job retaining possession. Dominic Roberts weaving his way. Franco Goliana, and again, we see such a, a tremendous uh, love and respect between all the players on the field. There's such a common admiration between all players. Here's an opportunity here for Toronto, a nice little one-two combination. Dane Roberts again coming up with the ball on that right flank. Looking to make something happen, but but the Galaxy just shut the door. Great job there by by Raphael Goldman of the Brantford Galaxy. Dane Roberts again with a wild shot. Looks like it was more of a pass. Getting it all the way across the field. And right there around that corner, Bradford Galaxy seemed to not be in unison there and really got caught off their guard. Luckily, Dane Roberts couldn't capitalize on that opportunity. Yeah, Dane Roberts was looking for Adrian Penna on the cross. Didn't have the right angle. It looked like Roberts was looking to score. Just determined, uh, made the decision that he didn't have the right angle on the goal. So then he looked to to make the cross all the way across field to Adrian Penna. SC Toronto moving the ball up through the midfield. Here's a real opportunity with the big cross. Dominic Roberts looking inside. That was a very strong offensive set for SC Toronto. Let's take a look at this. And Dominic Roberts with the great cross, and it just went through the legs of Daniel Tanuis. But lucky for them, SC Toronto gets the corner with the deflection. Yeah, just unable to capitalize. Pitcher perfect pass. Dominic Roberts showing his ability as a striker, and now we see him as a playmaker looking to set up something for his teammates. And Dominic Roberts, as we mentioned before, didn't start this game and usually is a starter. And I think he's trying to show Carmen Isacchio that he deserves to get his starting job back. Absolutely. And he was the one that set up that goal. And here we have a substitution for Bradford Galaxy. As we mentioned er earlier, Vladimir Markotic was limping the whole game. And it seems that they finally realized that they needed to make a switch. Yeah, and we saw that. I mean, that original injury came last week against the Eagles. He was in really rough shape last week in their victory against Mississauga Eagles, and he, he was not 100%. He, he has not been 100% for about two, two weeks, maybe even three weeks now, and uh, they're going to just basically sit him down, get some ice on that, on that ankle, and just try to get him healthy for next game. And it will be Jeff Martins that makes a substitution and will play in net for the rest of the game for Bradford. Yeah, Jeff Martin, again, a real, uh, a real opportunity for him to show off what he can do. And we have an offside call here against Bradford Galaxy. And here oh. we have Richard Asante getting hit, getting hit in the head. Not as bad as a headshot as it looks. And that was Ranko Golianen for the Galaxy. A very, very, very strong player. And uh, Richard Ashanti still down here for SC Toronto. Maybe might have a substitution coming in, but the trainer now looking at him. Carmen Sacchio trying to figure out what's going to happen. Maybe bring in a sub. Maybe just get him, get, give him a little bit of rest. 
And here we have our next broadcast. Make sure to tune in next week, Friday, July 8th, Serbian White Eagles versus SC Toronto, live here at Lamport Stadium. Yeah, we do see a bit of uh, time give me being committed to this injury. It's, uh, it looks to be a little more serious than we originally thought. There, there was definitely some, some contact there, but we didn't think it was that, that, uh, that serious. But there, he's definitely shaken up on the, on the play. And it looks like we actually have a substitution for Bradford Galaxy. We have number 15 in. Nenid Begovic coming in, and he's replacing the Chilean midfielder Christian Gomez Chandria. And again, Gomez Chandria is one of those new players. This is his first game. So the Galaxy, I mean, you know, it is very one sided right now 3 1. SC Toronto is really dominating. But the Galaxy, they have some serious potential on this field. And we're seeing it tonight in two new players, two new faces. And you've got to think, as the season continues on, these players are only going to get better. And they're going to get more accustomed to the Canadian style of soccer. Because there is a difference. There is a big difference. And maybe you can speak to it, uh, Nadine. The difference between an international European style of soccer and the Canadian style. Well, I think one of the major differences is that I think Canada plays a more direct style of soccer, not to really call it kick and run, but I think there's just more, as, whereas the European style of soccer, they play more, they, it's more slower, they, they know how to play possession better, and they use the more triangle type of passes, whereas Canada, I think they're trying to get that way, they need to develop their system better, and hopefully in a couple years they can play like European teams play. Yeah, so it should be very interesting to see how, how these two new players kind of gel with the, with the, the new system of the Brantford Galaxy. Not to take anything at all away from, from Toronto's domination of tonight's, uh, this evening's game. Absolutely dominated. Just methodically controlled possession. Here's a yellow card here we see on the play. The second yellow card we've seen tonight. Very clean game. Very clean game today from, from both teams. Brantford doing a nice job getting it back to their goalkeeper. It's the seven, yeah, it's the 71st minute here at Lamport Stadium. And if you're now joining us, it's 3-1 SC Toronto over the Bradford Galaxy. Brennan McNichol. Pardon me. Uh, Nenad Begovic doing a nice job for Brantford, just methodically trying to weave their way through that midfield. Here's another yellow card here coming. Rade Novenovic. Uh, Brantford. We can hear the, the wonderful sounds of Canada Day fireworks off in the distance. I think what to top off this game is if we could see some of the fireworks. Fireworks and soccer makes for an amazing Canada Day. Absolutely. Big kick coming there, trying to get the ball all the way downfield, all the way across the the pitch. Knocked out of bounds. Up into the stands. The throw-in coming for Toronto. SC Toronto looking to make something happen in this midfield. Getting it to the left flank and the waiting Dominic Roberts, who makes a nifty move, cutting to the inside. Real strong physical contact there, number eight, Farid Adrozovic for Brantford. 
And SC Toronto takes the quick free kick. And it is a goal, number 16 for SC Toronto. Daniel Tanuis, the sub who came in for Andrea Lombardo in the second half, puts SC Toronto up 4-1. Yes, absolutely. Pitcher perfect cross coming from a breaking SC Toronto player up the right wing. Pitcher perfect and then the big time goal for SC Toronto. Let's take a look at the replay. And there we have Dan and there we have again with the replay. Great cross there by Raf by Raphael Oak. and Daniel Oh, Daniel Tunis with the goal. Goalkeeper had no chance. And no there we chance. have a shot of goals of the goal scorer who is Daniel Tanuis for SC Toronto. Yeah, that goalkeeper had absolutely no chance. SC Toronto again showing off an offensive explosion here, putting up another four goals, back-to-back -back four goal games for SC Toronto. And again, they're looking, they're going for five. If not for an offside call, number 10, Adrian Penna getting behind the defense. There's a shot of number six, Rade Novkovic of the Galaxy. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he got another yellow card, which is, he has two yellow cards on the day, which is a red card, and he will be sent off for the remainder of the game. There's the, the infraction right there. And we can see a very frustrated, very frustrated Brantford Galaxy here tonight. And SC Toronto now has an opportunity to make this game 5-1. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, correction on the goal score for SC Toronto for man number 16, Alexandro Carroll. Time the goal of 74 very good save there. Excellent save there. Ladies and gentlemen, an ejection from the match, a function for the Bradford Galaxy number six, Rade Novikic. Novikic, ejection from the match at 75 minutes. Jeff Martins of Galaxy making a very good save there, trying to, trying to keep this score uh, somewhat respectable. 4-1 for SC Toronto. And again, they're just dominating the time of possession, which is really equating to this, this lopsided score. And right I see now. Toronto taking yet another fast free kick, but just can't get it over. Very nifty little set play there on that corner kick for SC Toronto. SC Toronto trying to do the quick give and go but it's Dane Roberts who's caught offside. Dane Roberts again showing a real nifty pass, but just too quick. And we have another that. substitution for SC Toronto, David Alva coming in. Brantford Galaxy trying to move the ball. We see Goliath in there trying to get through that midfield of Toronto, unable to do so. Brantford Galaxy controlling possession, trying to set up this this offensive set here, trying to get through that midfield. Zach Tate waiting on the right flank. Here's an opportunity here. Number 13 for the Galaxy, Patrick Misich, the 16-year-old high school player who we spoke of in the pregame, getting an opportunity here to show a bit of his skills. Scoring the game winner last week against the Mississauga Eagles.
And the Bradford Galaxy looking a little bit deflated late in this game, down 4-1, to one and just can't seem to get anything going. No, nothing at all. SC Toronto, their defense is just so strong, so staunch. There's four of them lined up. I mean, it is just a, a defensive wall right now, and, and Brantford is unable to get through it. Kicked out of bounds by SC, by, excuse me, by Brantford. SC Toronto retains possession with the throw in. And it looks like we're having another substitution for the Bradford Galaxy. It's going to be number eight, Farid Erizovich, coming out for Bradford, and number 27, Stefan Danstovich. Bradford really emptying the bench here, looking for some spark, some type of energy coming off the bench. Looking for anything they can to try and change the result. Dominic Roberts working the sideline here, moving the ball up the right flank. Back to Dominic Roberts. Swinging the ball over to Gerard Latayu. Richard Asante just swinging over, swinging the ball over here to this left. And SC, yeah, and SC Toronto doing a great job of just keeping possession and not forcing anything and dictating the momentum to end off this game. Here's a real opportunity here. Number 10, Adrian Penna, snuck in behind the defense, was able to get that long pass. A big kick here, SC Toronto. Number 19, Richard Asante, showing a bit of an offensive game, offensive threat attacking the goal. And here we have SC Toronto with another corner, and they're just going to take a quick corner, keep the possession, and make the most out of their opportunity. Dane Roberts again, offensive-minded. Richard Asante, Branko Mastrovich. SC Toronto, just a tremendous job controlling the ball, controlling possession, controlling the time, the tempo. In the 81st minute of the game over here to, Dan to Dominic Roberts. David Alba weaving through that midfield. Brennan McNichol looking to make something happen. Number 22, Dominic Roberts, weaving inside. Gets tripped up there by the Galaxy's defense. Gerard Latalou with a big shot. Wide right. Rather uh, ambitious shot there by Gerard Latalou, defender. Didn't even go close to the net, but nice try. Yeah, he came flying in from his defensive position, trying to make something happen. Defender, yeah, defender's not really known for getting those shots on target, but good, but good try. And here we have another substitution for SC Toronto. Midfielder Richard Asante coming out. Yeah, I'll tell you, SC Toronto really smelling blood in the water. It's... It's becoming a real feeding frenzy on the offensive side for SC Toronto, getting some tremendous offensive pressure. And, really on, that attacking. and on that substitution, we have midfielder Raphael Reynolds coming in for Richard Asante to get some play in, in this last seven minutes of this match. SC Toronto throwing the ball in. Brennan McNichol swinging the ball over to Gerard Latayu. Latayu up to the sideline. 
up the right flank here. SC Toronto again in the offensive zone attacking. Adrian Penna. Raphael Reynolds. Excuse me, pardon me. Alex Hallis, number 16 on the ball, giving the ball away back to Branford. Branford doing a good job there, shielding, shielding the player. Nenad Begovic. Branford doing a good job controlling this. Session looking to get through the midfield. SC Toronto doing a good job shutting that down, retaining possession. Miscommunication. And Alex. Adrian Pennon there didn't realize that he actually was onside. The left defender for Bradford Galaxy wasn't with his back line. Just had to trust in Alex Alex a little bit better there on that play. On that play. Yeah, he really did give up on that play, didn't he? That, that has to be a, a little bit frustrating. Uh, for a coach because he was a good yard, yard and a half inside that offside line. One of the golden rules of soccer, don't stop until the whistle has blown. But it will be now a corner kick for Bradford Galaxy on the other end. Now this should be interesting to see what the Galaxy can do with this corner kick. And Nad Begovic. Not much there. The great, defense. Yeah. great cross by Nenad Bogovic, but too bad no one could get ahead on it, and it will be a throw in for SC Toronto. Yeah, the defense of SC Toronto just, just too strong on that play. The opportunities now are becoming very few and far between here for the Galaxy. 86 minutes into the game. Yeah, and the game here tonight kind of slowing down. SC Toronto not rushing anything, just playing the ball around, getting their touches in. Dominic Roberts content to, to kick the ball back. To the goalkeep, Sortiri Varco Costas, Varlo Costas. That could have been a disaster. A streaking number three, Dane Roberts, getting behind the defense. Great play by Jeff Martin of Brantford, clearing the ball. Nenad Bogovic working that midfield. Patrick Misic on the left flank trying to get through that Toronto defense. To no avail. Spoke of that Patrick Misic in the, in the pregame, a very strong player. Was was electric against Mississauga, coming in and scoring his first goal in under 10 seconds of play. Only 16 years of age, but again, he's he's, he's got potential. He's he's not ready to play at this at this extremely high level just yet. In Still sloppy in tackle by SC Toronto, and it's going to be a free kick by Bradford Galaxy. But sloppy kick was trying to find number 13, Patrick Misik, but just hit the ball a little bit too hard. And it's going to be a goal kick for SC Toronto. And there we just see that picture right there says it all. The absolute frustration setting in on the Brantford Galaxy. Four one here this evening on this beautiful evening at Lamport Stadium. Rogers TV bringing you live coverage of the Canadian Soccer League. 
and looks like we have an injury with SC Toronto. It's Branko Mastervich, defender. Not too sure what happened, but he's holding on to his left leg in pain, waiting for a trainer or somebody to come over to attend to him. And now we see a yellow card being given to Ranko Golianin of the Galaxy. Very respectful. Again, we, we spoke of it before. These players are very, very respectful. This this game is is about honor. It's, it's about dignity. And, and we see it game in, week in, and week out throughout this league. And I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Carmen Isacco for SC Toronto takes some of his players out. There is only a couple of minutes left in this game, but you never know. Players get chippy, you know, frustrations of not being able to win this game. So I think it's safe if you take some players out, just get in some new subs to get some run in and just end this game off on a good note. Injury free. Absolutely. Always thinking about the next game. It is such a young season. Seven games in, eight games into the season. They are going to be playing well into well into the fall. Second week of October is when the regular season ends. And There's you don't, long... yeah, and you get exactly what you're saying. You don't want someone to get hurt late in this game. As you said, you want them to be playing late in October, making a playoff run, and you don't want someone to get hurt. And then now you're done, you're, now you're done a couple of players. And now it's the 90th minute. We're headed into added time, and it looks like it's going to be three added minutes left in this game. The Galaxy doing a nice job defensively, retaining possession as SC Toronto looks to be on the attack again. David Alva working that midfield for Toronto. Brennan McNichol kicking it out to the left flank. Dominic Roberts working the sideline, content to kick it back to the defense. Gerard Latalou just looking to work this ball around, trying to, trying to use up as much of the clock as they can. David Alva, here's a real opportunity here. Dominic Roberts. Excellent defensive play. Number three, Stanko Karasic for the Galaxy coming up big. And now we have a corner kick for SC Toronto. They'll probably play another quick free kick. You know, only a minute and a half left to go in this game. Just trying to kill off the time and go home with a win. Absolutely. But I'll tell you though, Dominic Roberts again showing his ability as an elite Deadly striker going up on that left flank for SC Toronto. And SC Toronto again with the quick corner, just playing keep away to run out the clock. Yeah, these quick corner kicks that we've seen all night have really been to the advantage of SC Toronto, really catching the Galaxy off guard with these quick, quick corner kicks. Kicked out of bounds by Stanko Karasic of the Galaxy, content to just get back into the defensive play. Yeah, and it's been a great game by SC Toronto tonight. Exactly what Coach Carmeny Sacco wanted from his team. 4-1 totally capitalized from the beginning to the end got kind of shaky at the end of the first half but other than that they've played an awesome game today very impressive extremely impressive this sc toronto team is the real deal they are a very serious team and they are looking to be one of the top teams if not the top team in the canadian soccer league and I think it's safe to say that they will go home with a win tonight, which will be their fourth win in a row, which is also a league's best. Yeah, very impressive. Their only loss coming on June 10th against Toronto, Croatia. And there we have it. The ref calls it your final score here at Lamport. 4-2-1. Awesome game, Daryl. Your thoughts? Outstanding game. I mean, you know what? We saw a tremendously tight, 
very, very competitive first half. It was 2-1 going into halftime. And then we see SC Toronto really breaking away. Your final score here at SC at, at Lamport Stadium is SC Toronto 4, Brantford Galaxy 1. On behalf of Daryl Jordan Hicks and the whole Rogers TV production team, thanks for joining us here. This is the CSL on Rogers TV. Happy Canada Day, everyone.